Hey everyone, welcome back. It's your girl Magic Mermaid and we're here with the Scorpio. <laughs> the Scorpio reading for May 2024. You know, it's feeling a little intense or intriguing. I don't know. We're pre-shuffled, so let's just see what's going on for the month of May for my Scorpio people. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups, okay? We have the Strength card, okay? We have the Eight of Pentacles, okay? We have the Five of Cups, and we have the Moon card. Let me shuffle once more just to get the clarifiers. Ooh. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. He a fan, he a fan, he a fan. Seven of Wands, clarifying the Knight of Pentacles. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles, clarifying the Six of Cups. And then we have the Eight of Wands, clarifying the Strength card. We have the Emperor card, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. And then we have the Page of Cups, clarifying the Five of Cups. And we have the Three of Cups, clarifying the Moon. Okay, so let's get the remaining cards. Okay, we have success. Okay, we have authenticity. Okay, we have destiny. Awesome, awesome, so awesome. Share your voice. Okay, this is great. Awesome. Inner temple, okay, devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. And then lastly, we have the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? Okay, so, ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Okay, starting off, Scorpios, we have the Knight of Pentacles clarifying the Seven of Wands. Okay, so this is talking about coming into the month of May, Scorpio, you may find yourself defending your position as it pertains to something along the lines of a long-term investment, um, something that you want to have longevity in, something that you are looking towards it in the future, like okay, um, this is something that I want to invest in, that I would like a return on this in the far future, and I'm willing to put in the work, I'm willing to wait for it. Um, so this is you defending your position. So for a lot of you, I do feel like um, this is at work where you're just really showing your abilities at work and showing what you can do. I feel like you're really, for a lot of you, this is like saving money. You probably are putting a lot of money into the bank right now. Or maybe that is something that you definitely should be thinking about, which is stacking up your money and saving it, putting your coins and your things to the side, making sure you have your 401k established or making sure that you have your stocks or your investments all lined up. Um... And then for a lot of others of you, this is about you wanting to maybe buy a home or invest in a property is what I'm feeling like. Um, you have the Six of Cups clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So this just lets me know that Scorpio, someone from your past is coming back in the month of May. And I feel like maybe you have, you know, been very... hmm. What's the word that I'm looking for when it's like, oh, casual, casual. You've been casual with this person in the past, but I feel like now in the month of May, your perspective is shifting to where you're starting to think of it in a long-term effect. So this is somebody that you could have, like I said, been casual with, and now you're actually like, you know what, I actually want to take this further, like, I'm going to actually date this person, I'm going to revisit this subject, and I'm going to see if we can make things work, um, I'm going to see if I can have a new opportunity in this, um, some of you, you could be finding out that, um, that you and your partner are pregnant or maybe having children or something. But this is just, I feel like this is a new opportunity 
that is coming from the past. So it's definitely somebody coming back and you guys saying, okay, let's try it again for real this time. I think that is what the energy is saying. So then you have strength clarified by the eight of wands. So this is making me feel like whatever this is, it's taking you a lot of courage, Scorpio, to do. Um, the eight of wands is about things um, coming in fairly quickly as far as messages, communication, insights, enlightenment. So, you know, I feel like it's what it's saying is that out of nowhere, you're going to get this immense, you know, a sense of like courage. You, you know, maybe if you were fearful to, to move forward or take things to the next level previously, then this month in May, out of nowhere, you're finally getting the courage and the strength um, and the confidence to really pursue whatever this is from your past and really say, okay, I'm this is going to be it and this is what I'm going to stick to. And so you, I do feel like you're making that sort of decision this month in May, okay? So after that, you have the Eight of Pentacles clarified by the Emperor card. This is very interesting because Scorpios, I feel like the Eight of Pentacles is all about, you know, apprenticeship or work. It's like, it's like college. It's like school. It's some sort of school. It's some sort of learning process. Um, so for some of you Scorpios, you could be getting involved in fitness. You could be going to training. You could be really in the gym um, in the month of May. I do see that for a lot of you. But also, I feel like some of you are adding a... Um, a layer to your career as far as you know maybe you're doing one thing for income but i do feel like that you're starting to work on something on the side that is more along the lines of entrepreneurship that is more along the lines of your passion and your purpose so i do see that coming up toward the middle and end of the month where you know you're really putting some work into your own personal projects um so that you know maybe this is doing music maybe this is producing maybe this is doing tarot or vlogging on youtube or maybe you cook for people maybe you make music if i said that already i don't know excuse me um yeah so i do see a lot of that energy there then after that we have the five of cups clarified by the page of cups um so this is like page of cups is about good emotional news or a good emotional message. So I do feel like there is some message of emotional news coming in towards the end of the month for a lot of you. Um, this looks like a little bit of a promotion. You could be getting promoted at work. Um, I feel like people could just really be recognizing, you know, what you provide, what you bring to the table, what you implement, and they're deciding that this is a month that they're going to make sure you get paid for it. Um, and then for a lot of others of you, the five of cups is about, you know, trying to see the brighter side of things. Because I do feel like for a lot of you Scorpio people, there is one thing that is ending this month, or there is one thing that you're reflecting on. It's like, this could be some memories. I feel like some people are thinking of memories from the past, you know, things that happened in the past. And it's just like, you know, all those things you're reflecting and you're saying, you know, all those things happen for a reason. You're starting to see the bigger picture. You're starting to see why those things had to happen the way that they did so that you could be pushed in a certain direction to do a certain thing in a certain way. Um, and so you're really seeing that. But nonetheless, you are still having a little bit of grief or sadness as you are reflecting on these memories of the past. But also in that same breath, you are understanding, Scorpio, that moving forward, it only gets better. And you're, you know, it's only up from here. Literally, it's only up. So the moon card clarified by the uh, three of cups is the moon is something that's hidden, right? So this is, they're saying, we're not going to tell you what it is, but there is something special, something specific coming at the end of the month that Scorpio maybe a little bit is expecting, but not expecting. And it's something that calls for celebration. I do see you going out with friends. I do see you celebrating. So you may have an unexpected outing 
coming in the month at the end of the month um with your friends you know just going out having drinks i don't know some sort of outside activity so yes um definitely stay tuned for part two